All right, how's it growing? It's Mini Man. This is an additional part, People Farm, part 11. I hope this series is gonna end one day. Just kidding. I don't really want to make this video, but <clears throat> I'd just rather do it than not do it. If you haven't watched the other parts, nine parts are on Facebook. And I made them in 2018. The tenth part I released on YouTube two days ago. So this video is part of the of that series. And People Farm, the title People Farm, Pe People Farm, is for the reason that it's uh, that we're living in a people farm and I explained it in detail why and how and now um, uh, a person said well um, the people that I call sheep the sheeple the 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 sheep who don't want to grow up they just refuse to wake up and grow up that, that they're not sheep. They're just regular people wanting to live a normal life. That means work, rest, you know, grow some food in your backyard and lead a normal, happy life, you know, with their family and friends and that's that. And I can see that point. And 90% of the people are probably those people who just want to live a normal life, a normal with the bunny ears life. And it really made me think, and yeah, it's probably the truth. You know, There's, it's just normal people and all they want to do is just live a normal life. But hey, the 10% who are trying to wake those people up, they just want to live a normal life too, right? I think we all just want to live a normal life and work and rest and grow food in the backyard, you know? But the, the problem with those people are, with those sheeple, with those sheep, meh, 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 meh. those people are part of the problem. Because those people expect that they have freedom, that they have security, yeah, that they can live their normal life. But in a complex world like we are, there is no such thing as a normal life. And there never was. And those people are the problem because other people have, a, have it very, very easy to take advantage of those, of those people. And sheeple and those sheep, they're not just getting farmed, okay? They're also getting shaved. And you're getting shaved uh, by, ta by paying your taxes, by being exploited. And the farmers, they completely take advantage of you. So you can say, yeah, but I just want to live a normal life and that's that. Well, then you have to be okay with being exploited, being shaved, uh, being pushed around, being censored, being poisoned, and being played by the farmer, you know, however they want it. And you basically have no rights because the farmer owns you and the farmer decides if um, you have any freedom or any right to say whatever you want or do whatever you want. And if you expect a normal life, then I have to tell you and to disappoint you uh, that this is a dream bubble. This is how life should be, but this is not how life actually is. Of course we all want to live a normal life 
and want to take our freedoms for granted. But it's not possible because the, the way the system is set up for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, I don't know, six, 650 years. There was never a normal life. There were always people in power who exploited the people. Power structures, hierarchies, and power corrupts. And if you expect as a sheep people that you just be, are, are, you know, being left alone and you have the freedom to live your normal life, then I have to tell you, I'm very sorry, but this is bullshit. <laughs> and my point and the whole truth or community's point is that there is a necessity that those 90% finally, finally wake the fuck up and, and, and step up and grow up and unite, it, that, that we have a chance as humanity to unite to get that freedom because the 10% the are fighting for that freedom, you understand? And the farmers, there's just a handful of, of people who control the whole world. They control everybody and they exploit everybody and they mass surveil everybody. <clears throat> and the 90% who are just being quiet I, I'm not gonna cut this. I just need to walk someplace where I can talk. Um, the ninety percent who are just expect that everything is gonna be given to them, um, they're ruining it for for everybody. Basically, by doing nothing, and doing nothing is just not enough, and uh, it's super fucking annoying. That's just really what it is. It's really just so annoying, especially to the 10% to the of people who are trying to make a global change. And not even those 10% are doing their job. And it goes to show how fucked up the situation really is because even the truthers most of them have absolutely f no fucking clue about what's going on and they're just spreading the same fear porn message like everybody else and i'm just sick and tired of these fucking minions you know just thinking they can be normal people living a normal life in a situation like this And they don't think, they don't act, and they just follow the next villain, you know? And, and I don't care who it is. If it's the mainstream media, or Hitler, or Merkel, or Greta Thunberg, or Stalin, or the next motherfucker that steps up and says, I got the plan, follow me. And then everybody goes just, meh, follow this guy. This is just not good enough. And I mean, if you're paying 70 or 80% taxes and you call this a normal life, you got your head in your ass. <laughs> and again, I'm saying it a billion times by now, freedom is not something that is free. You have to earn it. You have to work for it, you have to fight for it, you have to earn it. Because it's not something that is given to you, not in this world. And there goes your, I want my normal life. That's out of the window. Because with that kind of attitude, you will never have freedom. Fucking never, ever. So it needs people who fight 
And if 90% don't fight for the freedom, well, then they just don't get any freedom, you know? And that's fucking up the whole situation for the 10% too. Because then everybody is enslaved. And as long as I am alive, that's not happening. And I see that the 90% are not waking up. They just refuse to wake up. No matter how many arguments are there, you know. No matter how many strong reasons you give those people, they will just... They don't want to see it. They don't want to... They don't want to wake up. They don't want to take action. They don't want to fight. They don't want to put their life on the line. They don't want to do anything. They want their normal, comfortable life. And you know what happens to sheep? They get shaved and then they get slaughtered. And you're, you're those normal people. Well, you're going to get slaughtered because you just refuse to see the reality you live in. You, re you refuse to see the world that you live in. You refuse to see the truth. You refuse to see the ugly truth. And the, the truth is actually pretty ugly. But the truth is the truth and the truth will set you free. Only the truth will set you free. And 90% are allergic to truth. So you don't get any freedom, period. End of discussion. It's that simple. Because your, your lifestyle reflects your attitude. And that means that you are just hoping and wishing you get a kind farmer. A farmer that is loving and it is taking care of you so you can live a normal careless life you know and that attitude is an attitude of a child but people are you know mostly over 18 and they're adults by definition but they're not acting like adults and you can't have freedom without responsibility. This is just the same coin, you know, two sides of the same coin. It's freedom on the one side, responsibility on the other. And you can't have one without the other. You can't have freedom, normal life, without the responsibility. It's just not possible. And hoping and wishing for a nice, kind, loving farmer that is taking care of you well, that's exactly, precisely the attitude that led to all this shit in the world that we have right now. The worst fucking dictators and globalists who poison and exploit everybody and everything and nature. And they saying it in your face, they want to kill you. Look at the fucking Bill Gates and... and uh, Soros and all these creatures. Look at these criminals. They even saying it in your face. They don't even have a, they don't even blink. They don't give a shit about you. But you just want to live a normal life. That's just not good enough in a situation like this. <laughs> and I'm sick and tired of explaining it over and over and over and fucking over again. Because it's just pointless. You don't want to understand. Because you don't just want to understand. And, yeah. All you can do is really hope and wish and pray that a savior is coming to save you. Because otherwise you're just going to get slaughtered. Right? because you want your normal life and you don't want to do anything for it. No, you just don't want to sacrifice anything. So, 
to sum this up, if you think a normal life, normal people um, have the right to live a normal life, then you are wrong. You're just not understanding what's going on in the world and you're just not doing your fucking research to find out. So there is no such thing as a normal life. Not on this planet. Ask me how I know. And if you're not waking up and you, you refuse to wake up, well then you, I guess you have to pay the price. And maybe you get lucky that the good guys save you. But hey, then to me, honestly, you didn't earn it. Right? You didn't earn that normal life. Because you're not doing anything for that normal life to get that normal life. And you're not doing anything it's, if it's been taken away from you. So, point is, point is, sheep are sheep. And, um, yeah, I can call those people sheep because that's their behavior. That's just their behavior. And, sh and, and the, the, the difference is sheep are innocent animals they're innocent beings they don't have a really a choice you know they can go on google and educate themselves and find out oh the farmer is actually shaving me and then selling my wool that's not okay i'm not i'm not getting a cut you know that's exploitation it's not possible for a sheep but it's possible for a human being and that's well, the problem comes in. You, took, you, could, you could take responsibility, but you refuse to. And that actually makes you worse than a sheep. Because a sheep can't do that. So that's the friendliest analysis of the subject. And um, that's that. I'm any man, grow what I trying.